Alrighty, howdy guys, and uh, welcome back. Sorry for that little bit of a crash there last time. Just a small problem. <clears throat> anyway, I have decided that we're going to leave these three legions behind. I've been looking at it again. We're going to build the depot and Emporii. It's got some walls. It's pretty nifty. And the 7th, 1st Germanic, and 9th Legion. 9th Legion are all pretty badly under strength, the 9th Legion especially. So they're going to stay here and form sort of a depot guard. Meanwhile, Caesar is going to go rampage down to Taraco, but I suspect his men will be quite tired when they get there, seeing as how they'll be marching for almost an entire month. And uh, we'll just hold in front of the city, set up a siege. If there's no one in it, fine. Otherwise, we'll just be holding in front of it. Mark Antony, we're going to kind of hold in a sort of reserve right now. He's got... Well, does Caesar have enough cavalry? No. We'll send some of his cavalry over there. We'll rename these guys. Alt-left-click for that. Uh, okay. Depot and replenishment garrison. Uh, and yeah, they're they're about one legion of strength right now, all three of them. And so I really want them to just have a quick break. And uh, I'm gonna honestly let uh, Mark Anthony rest there as, for a while as well, while Caesar takes. Uh, essentially, they've swapped armies, and Caesar's gonna take his army and go uh, charging uh, straight forward. Yeah, plenty of his legions are badly battered. Let's see if there's anything else. Probably have a few new prisoners. We have a lot of new prisoners now, actually. Mark Anthony's morale is low. Our morale is sky high. Uh, ever since our arrival in Italy. I'm not sure I'm and yeah, I don't anticipate having a hard campaign in Spain. Because, uh, I mean, we're essentially just going to come down the coast and go down there. We'll probably leave the treasury intact over here. We don't really need it. I don't really want to cause problems in Spain. Uh, and I suspect after we go to Spain, we will then go to Africa, polishing up our grain problem. And uh, once again, getting, giving us a, sort of a decent outpost spot. Probably take Leptis Magna or something. Uh, we'll probably stick Mark Anthony on that while Caesar chases Pompey to whatever crazy shithole he goes to. And by crazy shithole, I mean the only developed parts of the Empire. Anyway, these auxiliary units, uh... uh we probably have a pacify decision somewhere. No? Well, alright, well, whatever. With those two armies operating in close uh, proximity and um, <clears throat> the quote-unquote liberation of Salona at hand by the second and first legions of Illyria and Italia. Let's get those guys reformed up. Who's running? Is that... Yeah, it's Crassus. Yeah, I already processed some of this turn. I don't know if I cut it out or not. It crashed. Anyway, my goal is to have a really quick campaign in this region. 
We still hold all the major strategic cities that we're about to lose Thessalonica. Thessalonica. Alright, let's go! Please don't crash. Things are moving. Okay, good. Crashes is running away. 600 men are dead. That's fine. We lost Thessalonica. Also fine. Thessalonica. We are taking Salona. Put down that slave revolt in Rome. We bumped into Pompey. We were losing initially. But our overwhelming manpower carried the day at the end. Yeah, we are kind of losing out on that end, though. Build that super depot. We're going to uh, retreat for a bit. Let Mark Anthony come on up. points gained, one point lost. He is going to have a hard time holding on to us. Gallia, Italy, and Illyria. Oh, good. Oh. Gotta get rid of these, uh, Auxiliary troops. Whoops. Uh, they're both waiting for a turn. Achieves the same effect. Not a lot of reinforcements coming streaming in right now. I imagine that's due to our virtual inability to replace them. Now we're going to march on back down to Neapolis, because I suspect those slaves are still out there, but we still gotta take care of Crouton anyway. That's fine. I'm okay with that wave. Lyria's back under our control. We'll send these guys out to go secure that region so that it's painted red. Oh, that's where my pacify options are.
can admit to being a little concerned about what's out there. It's probably nothing. Probably. Uh, and we're just kind of walking through, securing the territory. It is, uh, pretty slow. As far as progress goes. I'll have one guy go occupy the... Well, actually... Oh, is that the only way on there? Weird. Now yeah, we'll go occupy Slepatonai. And, uh... It seems weird that he couldn't just come from over there. You sure you have to come through that way? Yeah, weird. Anyway. I'll polish off the last little bits of Illyrian problem. Greece is going to remain a problem. Probably. All of our replacements are used up pretty much immediately. Mark can tag along for now. These guys are going to catch up with Caesar. Missing anything? Uh, honestly, the Seventh Legion is it, they're, they're well enough put together. I'm I'm calling them out of the reserve. Hell, there's worth legions in the line still. I'll build a depot of some kind. We're gonna need it. Got a couple legions down there to these guys who are just gonna wait for reinforcements, I guess. Could get down there in six days. Let me all link back up the Rekum. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Reasonable enough. Ought to keep the war in the east churning for a little while longer. That's all they really need to do. While we try and deal with Pompey Magnus over here. I don't know if it's Pompey Magnus still. It might just be uh, his son. Hmm... It may not be a quick campaign after all. Oh well, Caesar's a brilliant strategist. He could probably get the army out of there. He has more men. How does he have more men? Either way, an army is coming to reinforce him. 
And at that point, Caesar's gonna fucking win. November. December. Okay. No battle over here. Perfectly fine with me. Crash just showed up, but we left with his legion. Um, we'll just march back. day trip down the coast good job boys hell that was probably the cleanest regional operation we've had since Rome and I mean okay here we go We have got him outnumbered. This is how we take Tariko. Honestly, I'll probably break off a couple legions in the back. This legion can go for rest and replenishment. Essentially any legion that's been beat to hell but not destroyed. There. Those three legions. Otherwise we're holding quite alright. And we'll just keep building a bigger and bigger depot. We'll sort of use that as our uh, building point, I suppose. And we'll divvy up the power later. We need money. We can't get money. Well. It means it's just a knockdown, drag out fight over something in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna win that fight, I tell you. Tell you, we're gonna secure those portions of Greece as well. The little pacify orders. That's a fleet. I wonder what they're doing off the coast there.
Anyway, they'll go wander through there and see if they can't find anything, and then polish off those irregulars down at Crouton. Crouton, Crouton, whatever. Okay, let's go. Bite your nails. This is a big one. But I think we've got him. We go, push them out, we hold the river. Be nigh on unassailable now. Grasses, grab yourself a legion. We got you the 4th Macedonian. Now we get the Illyrian one. Oh yeah, that's a powerful striking force. Some gall, some more engagement points. And Caesar's guys don't like to bathe. Just uh, just stand over there for a second. Let me figure out what's going on. Caesar's gonna assault Tarako. That boy's gonna link up. Still trailing. Some of their navy took a lot of damage. I don't know how. Probably ran into a storm or some shit. Hmm. Well, they will assault and take those walls. 
I suspect successfully. Which should lend them the power of, uh, all that city. And it's harbor, which should make living there a lot freaking easier. Meanwhile, I want these guys to continue building more depots. Raise money, sell prisoners. Because we are pretty freaking happy right now. Mark Anthony doesn't have an army anymore. He's just sort of sitting. Oh, I feel bad for the guy. Kinda. Eight-day march down to Apollonia, where they may or may not engage and destroy oh, a couple legions under Lucius Scribonius. Yeah, this is probably best. We'll just hold a small defensive line here. Trying to suck reinforcements out of something. We're not going to get them. Yeah, how'd that slave oppression going? No, yeah, pretty well, it seems. Have them under siege. Alright, well, uh, keep it up. Probably make a breach at some point and be able to assault whenever he feels like it. Seems like that's all the movement in all the sectors. Caesar's gonna storm a town. Might be a fight near Apollonia. Maybe. I mean, as long as we control Diracum and Athens, we can kind of lay claim to controlling Greece and... Keeps Pompey from owning it. Yeah, there go those guys. Region Tariko. That's pretty good. Seems a lot of the men have been able to rest up in the meantime. Oh, there's a breach and he's active. That's awesome. Go get him, Tiger. Probably will turn those people into slaves. Okay, let's see what we got. Merchant ship sunk volunteers. Hey, that's great. We need a lot of replacements. I don't care about light infantry, actually. Do care a lot about those. Pestilence strikes <laughs> this random... We have marines? Oh, cool. Uh, well... Huh, kinda wish I knew about them. Wow, that that's really cool. I want to hire more German cavalry. Let's see. Made a breach in Apollonia. And they ran away. Yeah, it's a big army. 
I can see them not wanting to fight. But we will catch them eventually. Upkeep used money. And those guys must be here. That's cool. And you're actually uh, not, not completely needed. We have a general for every single legion. That's crazy. Um, You know, we'll put Mark Anthony in charge of the depot and replenishment garrison. It's almost a legion. Technically is a legion. Puppy's chosen a good spot for what he's doing. Which is holding in place. And we're going to need more supplies soon. <laughs> How's it work? So they're just uh, marines. Okay. That's cool. We're gonna need more reinforcements before we can really uh, deal with that. supply situation would be drastically improving. Should be generating 150 points of supply at this point. Uh, we'll see if this one fills up. If that fills up, it's good. If it doesn't fill up, we are going to need to get food from a different place. Probably uh, an Arbor Masalia. But these are all kind of roughly the same level of supply. So I sort of suspect it'll be fine. This is more just to spread out the network. I'm gonna put it over here. Let's see what's quicker. I'm about the same distance away. Just go get it. From Lasalia so you can take the navy back. We'll stick him on like the fastest, smallest transport we have and run him down. Cause so we can see the whole ocean. what we need. We are driving Pompey back right now. We are driving him back hard. 
Take another sip of my tea. Finally solved that problem. Whew. Good job, Sulla. Hey! We found him! Yeah. What is that? The 15th and 16th Legion? Maybe we bump into him eventually. Yeah, they must be basically obliterated. That's a new crop of prisoners. Probably a pretty big blow to them as well. Might be able to push on Thessal Thessalonica now. Might. Alright, what's left? Uh, boys, I'm sure you found them all. Go dig them out of there. Yeah, the people are upset we don't have any food for them. And we're almost at parity with Poppy. Alright, you'll take command of the Germanic Legion. Caesar is about to run out of food, and that's not, that's not good. Gonna send off some of these freaking auxiliary troops. I'm sure they're the ones eating all the food. about 30 of these.
There we go. That'll attend to some of those problems. Legions ought to be getting a swift kick in the ass, though, from that. Uh, we'll go ahead and start shipping supplies back down to Caesar. It's gonna take a while. Some of his men are going to be a little bit hungry for a while. And that ought to be fine. Probably. We're really catching up with Pompey now, plus 30 a turn. Really only 15 behind him and... Not enough supplies. We'll have to wait. Size 3 depot? I'm kind of surprised it's not filling him up quicker. Anyway. Ought to be able to get enough supplies from these two uh, towns. Once they've had a literal month to fully supply themselves. Did I remember to deal with Greece? <laughs> Probably. I'm obsessing over every detail at this point. Besides, we just killed that legion in Greece. They probably needed to rest anyway. God knows we need a lot of replacements. Probably two months of replacements at this point. One month to order them, one month to distribute them. Oh, he, he left? Oh, we can't pass that up. Can we pass that up? Can I afford to wait? Not really. Taking out the Legatus, by the way, the Legatus, uh, the, the eagle in the legion, that unit part of it. So if you look at the unit here, uh, there's the commander, commander, commander. At the bottom here, there's the Legatus, and it's the guy with the actual eagle. These are just heavy infantry, and they're pretty good at stuff. But this is what gives the unit its, uh, like, stupid elite status. Like, it's uh, strong morale, it's got pontoons, and engineer. You take that out, and it, it, it essentially completely neutralizes the thing. Cool. So that did actually work out pretty well. This legion's back up to full strength. How Caesar doing? Not enough food around. Really? 
really not enough food around. Okay, you're full of food. I got a ton of transport ships. I'll turn them into food. That, it'll make sense. You could turn transport ships are kind of like uh, depot ships. Honestly, it's probably the best way to think of them. They're depot ships. They carry a ton of supplies. Plunk them down next to little old Caesars. Make all kinds of stuff. Honest to God, I probably should have just sent a few of them down the coast. I keep forgetting you can do that. Anyway. How are my marines looking? What do I want y'all to do? Hunger riots, aren't they? Nope, no rest for the weary. Or the wicked. Go kill the peasants. Yes. Honest uh, solos. Right there. Okay, so. Okay, so they're building their supplies back up gradually. Go finish up building our Uber Depot over here. So we have a supply base that's, you know, actually in Hispania. It's not that big of a supply deficit. Most people will be able to eat. I'm saying a lot of words that you really don't want to hear in the army. Yeah, 180 points. These things are fat with supplies. How long did Thessalonica? 20 days? Okay. How long did Parasalus? 18. Let's go, uh... We're gonna leave the first Minervine, the first Illyric, back up to full strength by the looks of it, here to guard Dinakum, and also sort of our line of retreat. These four will advance on Parsalis, take that city, and essentially push the front line backward to Thessalonica. Alright, Curio. Carry us to victory. We're gonna be trying to kill a giant fucking army. With no food. At the moment, no food. more money. There we go. Oh, the supply thing is crushing my campaigning year. <laughs> That's fine. We replaced so much of the Roman army. Who's gonna call it the Roman army at this point? It's not Caesar's army. We have Rome. We have Italy. We got Greece. That's basically all of Rome that matters. 
I could feel Dr. Shed cringing in horror at what I've just said. Really great classics professor. If you're going to a school for a classics education, look up Dr. Shed. He just, uh, just started. Really great guy. So great, I will recommend him randomly through the internet. <laughs> Think of your horses, bud. Yeah, we got a legion for you. It's over here. Well, that is a Honestly, gonna include him in there. He's just gonna hang out for a bit. That's going to turn into a major supply hub, and it's going to be great. Especially since we're mostly just capturing ports at this point. enough for me. And these guys form a formidable fighting force of their own right. They will venture north. And uh, this will be our big primary supply hub, secondary depots continuing onward as needed. Just keep chasing them slaves. Get them eventually. Those guys go. I feel like I. I feel like I may not have ordered them to advance. I feel like I may have ordered them to advance. What the hell? Okay.
probably ought to build a bigger depot there anyway. I don't know what I'm going to do with these naval guys, but I do know the naval expedition is going to happen from over here anyway. So he's just going to essentially forge ahead. I'm going to try and seize... a couple supply stations. Let's go. I think when you request them and the replacements come in on the same turn, so I think that might go a turn faster than I uh, believed it to. Which means if you have money, you can reform an army in about a month. Just by requesting replacements, and then during the processing turn, the replacement request is processed, given, and then distributed. I thought they were distributed and then acquired. Oof. Get oofed. Drought in Africa, Drought in Illyria, must have chased the slaves off. a size 2 depot, maybe. Bad position to occupy. march them down here we can start kind of got to get the army off the supply zone is the main thing
really just ain't a big enough city to support what we're doing. <laughs> sure we're not standing on top of anything or whatever. Oh, weird. Go re-exert our control over that area, Scylla. They're going to march on down to Athens and relieve that siege. Mm, no, I don't want to operate so independently. We'll take Pharsalas. This is If there's a breach, we will rush. Well, no. I, I can't afford to lose another capital. We're going to be bouncing around a lot. It's gonna go there, share supplies with Caesar. <clears throat> Alright, that should work. We're on the other side of the Iberius River, though. Iberius River. Which is good. What am I looking at there? Some sort of raiders? Resting time probably won't hurt them. 
That Bolonis has a port. They'll probably be fine. And hey, those three legions are back. Time for another battle. At some point. to get supplies to this guy. Honestly, looking at them, Totoko is a bit better as a port. Yeah, we're just gonna... Just gonna use these guys as a depot. Another giant depot immediately after the other giant depot. the word exercitus okay with vigor and speed we're going to punch into the enemy now Down the second I'm going to go take Carthanova go. Since it looks like Pompey's retreating along this road. Clearing out this one. Marcus is going to move down here to Tulutum. We are going to seize this whole damn thing and then get in some place where we have enough food and a small enough army. Before I have to spend the rest of my life jostling civilization problems. Not civilization problem, what's the word I'm looking for? But I mean, we're two towns away from Carthago Nova. Carthago Nova. That's a vaguely complicated martial maneuver. Let's 
sell some more prisoners, because we just desperately need cash at this point. Well, not at this point. Like, we haven't desperately needed cash at almost every single point. And then we'll split up into different, like, legionary sizes along these three towns to try and forage enough food to stay alive. Yeah, just like I thought, they're not really committing to those sieges in that region. Alright. There's Turgia or whatever it's called done. There's those slaves. Mark Anthony took the town. They're really committing to Athens. We could pin them in Athens. Sell our prisoners again. Keep doing that. They made a breach, but they, uh. Moved on. Oh, that's grand. They've surrendered. There's a breach in Athens. route do I need to take to get there? It goes down the same road. Let's go capture us a crossroads. Alright, Pompey, here, move. Okay. This one's 50. Generates 50 supplies per day. Now, Pompey, it's kind of up to you which way you want to lose. From this direction or this one? Six. We could probably force it. I don't want to force it. Yeah, running into financial problems.
Well, who can we annoy? That might cause problems. But it'll cause less problems than running out of fucking money. I fully believe my troops capable of winning that fight. <clears throat> Honestly, with a big enough depot. With a big enough depot, that's not even really a problem. That, uh, could create a lot of supplies. And over here, there's already a lot of supplies. Honestly, it'll probably fuel the fleet from Impari. I wonder what the 25 is. line up here. Or here? Maybe it's the wrong sprite. Needs 114. That's 20. Third supply level of 30-ish or so. Building up a level 4 depot there means Caesar should be able to uh, retreat to that point. Oh, pushing the different buttons changes the color of the orb. So if I want to send them the supply situation, I can see Caesar's having problems, Pompey's not. Hmm. Never know step 4. Are you having problems? You are. Oh, well, we'll be over here then. March on down there and we'll take Teletum and uh, maybe we'll send two legions over to Emerita Agusta. Some down to, to Cordoba. If he retreats, we'll take Cordoba and then Caesar will be across the bank and Mark Anthony can just retreat to behind the Anas. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
We'll send the Germanic Legion over to Merita, I guess, and just see what's out there. If there's an army, there's an army, we'll go home. If there's not an army, we'll take it. That ought to push, uh... Ought to push old Pompey into some problems, since we're just kind of double-teaming him on this front. It's a big navy. Start building up those replacements for when we need them. Soon. Let's go! Big battle. Lots of death. Not my own. Oh, there must have been actual in there. Saguntum. Yeah, we just overwhelmed Pompey. He doesn't really have the men he used to. That's what I was expecting. Jesus, they're good. We really need to put that revolt down, like, now. It's been going on for forever, and I can't find those damn slaves. <laughs> we leave the Siege of Athens. Athens. More prisoners, more money. Honestly, we might just be able to push Pompey back. People like us in Gallia. More supplies from Tulsa for some reason. It's becoming a regular little supply hub. People are upset because there is no grain. Which means Sulla has to go deal with it again. We relieved the siege of, As of Athens. Go chase that army down now. Once we defeated them in the field, we will have kind of essentially crushed all of our foes. Uh, I wonder where they went. Oh, stop fighting me.
that'll push us to 50 supply. That'll be quite a quite a trip. Slaves captured Neapolis, but then Neapolis was uncaptured. I am glad I formed an extra legion. Man, we are losing a lot of people. We finally took some slaves back. Jeez, I thought we would have captured more. Um, I suppose we'll just push on down to Carthago Nova now. Move the fleet on up. It's one of the few areas I need truly loyal to me is my depots. But once we get down to Karthav and Ovo, uh, we'll start to be taking, like, uh, actual regional capitals, and that could push Pompey out fully. And if he does that, then it's just Mark Anthony mopping up uh, down here. That will own the grain. Enough grain to avoid the <clears throat> massive hunger riots. Go see what's down there. It's possible there's nothing down there. But take your legion and go. Go put it under siege, I guess. And Caesar is just gonna keep pushing. And this is gonna be the last turn I record because I probably gotta go talk to people. Do stuff. Things. Whew. Every time it freezes, I get a little bit nervous. It's gonna crash. <sighs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's doing some weird frame rate stuff with my stuff. <laughs> All kinds of revolts. Got Imerita Augusta under siege. 
Did Pompey just fucking teleport or some shit? Holy shit, that guy is terrifying. I mean, Christ, I, I, like, it was a month, I get it. He, he might have just switched over to his alternate army. Still freaky. Though there were four Fridays, so... It may have happened. Stop revolting. That is Pompey. I don't know how in the hell he got down there. Well, let's go take Corduba. Y'all link up. Where's he going? I might be counterattacking. Maybe. If he tries that, we can just go plug his return route, I suppose. We've got this. Honestly, yeah, Mark Anthony, your new goal is to fuck with Pompey. Just do do whatever. Just make him annoyed. Go on the defensive. Oh my god, that is a big depot. Yeah. That is a great place for you to hold, actually. a few requisitions just to keep everything all fine. Gonna need that army to do something, Sulla. Back to Rome, break the siege, come back, deal with the slave revolt. Which is just getting bigger. Go take for ourselves. Yeah, we've effectively achieved military supremacy in this region. Yeah, hold on. Increase revolt risk. I'll take it. Uh, it generates money, which we kind of need.
and it gives us full military control, so it's kind of a decent way of clearing out the spot in front of the army that we're going to need. I suspect Pompey's going for uh, Salduba, or Samantica. Either one's not that important. We really want the grain. We really want the grain. To the point where Caesar's like primary objective right now is charge down that road and essentially like how fast can you get grain? Two months. Oh. Hmm. Three months. Well. Whatever, doesn't snow in hell. Alrighty, I'll see you all in the next part, where we finally fix the grain problem, and possibly fix the slave problem. That's a lot of slaves. Poppy is scared. Doesn't He's quickly losing that manpower advantage over us. He's getting a lot more victory points. We each lost about 250,000 men in the past. Four years of war, we're reaching about the midpoint of the scenario. We're gonna need to start making some like serious gains. Uh, so in the next year, we have to finish off Hispania. Uh, just we just have to. We can't deal with these grain riots anymore and this stupid slave rebellion and Sola having to basically live in Italy, killing random people. Um. Mark Anthony will deploy to Africa, it'll piss off the Numidians, but it will get us a heck of a lot of grain and probably secure us from these grain riots if Spain doesn't. <laughs> Don't know where Pompey will go. We'll probably follow him. Greece is going pretty well though, for what it is. It's uh, generating quite a good chunk of change and. Well, it is fueling our legitimacy, and we can probably take Thessalonica soon. Thessalonica again. Yeah. Ah, not yet. Alright, till next time. When you're Commander Tomato, there's rebellions everywhere. Caesar's killing everyone in Spain who doesn't agree with him. Pompey is wandering around the northern mountain range. Well, that's fine because we are operating on the southern side of another mountain range. I love Spain. And as long as we hold this little patch right here, he can't get to us. Probably. What's F8 do? Oh. We've got six years to go in our ten-year scenario. And it looks like we'll be halfway through the Empire at the halfway point of the war. Alright. Until next time. See you later.